Welcome back to Between Two Frames. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Laura Caputo, the Director of Community Outreach, and I'm here today with Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Gilmer, the F-35 Project Management Officer. Colonel Gilmer, can you tell us how many construction projects are currently ongoing as we get ready for the F-35? Sure. So we have about 10 projects going on right now, and we have three more that are in design that'll start construction later next summer. That is a lot of projects to manage. Um, out of all of those projects, can you tell me a little bit about the scope of those projects? For example, maybe the cost of them and how many people are involved? Yeah, so it is definitely a heavy lift. Uh, our CE and contracting folks have a lot of work to do and a lot of work they've already accomplished. When you add it all up, it's about $100 million plus worth of construction projects in three years. And to put that into perspective, normally we do one $4 million project around every 18 months. So Fantastic. you can see about how much work CE and contracting has to do. Absolutely. Now, um, with regard to those construction projects, I think it's really interesting for people to know how much of that has affected our local economy and community. So can you talk a little bit about maybe some of the local companies that are helping out with those projects? Sure. Um, we had Cabricki, which is a New York contractor. They did the apron. That was a current use project of about $42 million. They had uh, SD Ireland as a subcontractor, obviously a big concrete provider. They had uh, quarries in Milton and Colchester that were providing crushed aggregate. We had Stewart, who is a local contractor do uh, our simulator building. They had a bunch of local people, um, whether it's Pichet doing excavation, Dosty Drywall, CSE Steel, who's actually working on this building as well. So across all the disciplines, a lot of busy subcontractors and prime contractors from the world. Lots to manage. Yes. Great. And out of all of these projects, of which there's numerous, uh, what would you say some of the most important ones are as far as the timeline prior to the F-35 and when it's coming? Right, so there are uh, four critical projects. Uh, the first one's the apron, that one's almost done. The reason that one needed to get accomplished is even though it's an F-16 project, it'll benefit the F-35 and it allows access for our construction workers to actually access the buildings that are next to the apron. Okay. The next project, was uh, Building 120, which is our simulator facility. That actually finished up around September, so about a month ago. Um, the simulators are being installed by Lockheed Martin right now and are supposed to be operational this spring to allow our first pilots coming back from training a place to train. The next one is our squadron operations, and that's because it houses a very important system for the F-35 called ALICE. Think of it like internet for F-35. Um, and then the final one is actually the building that we're sitting in right now. This is Hangar 3. It'll house five airplanes when it's finished. It'll also be the classroom for maintenance when the F-35 shows up in September and they learn how to maintain and operate the aircraft. Awesome. It's great for me to sit here in Hangar 3. I love it. I think that we've hosted a lot of community outreach events here. Um, people from around the greater community. This is one part of the base that they see often. And so for me personally, it's exciting to sit in here and see all this work going on around me. Can you talk to me a little bit about some of the details and what this is gonna look like when it's done? Sure, it's gonna be a very different building. As you can see, we're pretty much down to the skeleton right now. So it's getting a huge energy retrofit, added insulation, more efficient utilities. So we're gonna lower our utility bill, lower our carbon footprint with regards to energy. It's gonna house five aircraft in here. Um, those five aircraft will be able to have uh, engine maintenance, egress maintenance, etc. And then it's going to house all of our admin functions for the uh, for maintenance group. Fantastic. Thanks, Colonel Gilmer, for your time and for all the hard work keeping up with the multitude of construction projects here at the base. And thanks to all of you for joining us on Between Two Frames. We hope you'll join us again as we have an even more in-depth look at all of the construction projects that are happening here at the 158th Fighter Wing.